second time in the past two years. Local Irving families and soccer players played host to a team from Irving's sister city in England, the borough of Merton. The Raniela Junior Football Club arrived in town last Thursday and participated in the Dallas International Cup soccer tournament. 19 nations from around the world took part in the week-long tournament. The boys team competed in the 14-year-old and underage division and managed to tie in two losses in competition against two American teams and a team from Mexico City. Raniela coach Richard Franklin feels the chance to play against some good international competition should help make his players better. When they go back, I think they'll all be better players because they've played a very high level of football. Because that, I mean, uh, what that can tell you today, um, a lot of rough play against them, and they stood up to it. We had no boy book. We never had a boy books uh, in our team at all, ever. And they stood up the game, you know, very, very well. I mean, they could have lo lo lost their heads and, and pushed and kicked back, but they never. The Burton team is comprised of mostly players 13 years old and younger. And they were most impressed by the size of the American players. Well, they look about 17, and their legs are like tree trunks, and most of them are really hairy legs and everything. They're big, massive people, and their legs are like tree trunks, and they run so fast, I mean, you can't stop them. They're a lot more skillful than we thought, and um, that is too hot, though. It's much too hot for us. Uh, found it hard to play, and you know the hum it was really humid on the first match, and uh, it's just ter terrible the heat. Because there's bigger people and everything, they're rougher, and they can take the heat, and we can't because we're used to cold and everything. During their stay with local families, the players got to see many different things, like a Dallas Maverick basketball game. We have uh, basketball in England, but they're not that big, and they were much better here. We have a team, in fact, just near we live, Kingston, and they're the best in England. So, but they were a lot better. They could beat our England team, the Mavericks. Well, I couldn't believe how big the Texas Stadium, or not the Texas Stadium, the Dallas Mavericks Stadium was. I mean, it's massive, we haven't got anything. For, just for a little basketball match. In England, there's about 20 people for a basketball match, and that was massive. The Merton Club also got a chance to play against a team comprised of players from host families, and they also got a chance to go to school. Boring. I mean, uh, we've got the same lessons every day, that's just what I can't get over. Whereas in England, you've got different lessons every day. You don't have to wear school uniform and things like that. Yeah, and games is weird, basketball and that. We usually play just soccer and cricket and things like that. The kids got the chance to see and do a lot of things, and they found several things they really enjoyed. In England, you're not allowed to go in the arcades and play video games unless you've got an adult in here, you're allowed. So I go in there most of the time. There's things like ice skating and roller discos, but there's nothing like Six Flags. I mean, that's massive. <laughs> Cars and their Six Flags. Six Flags has got to be the best. I mean, the roller coaster is unbelievable. You go upside down, I couldn't believe it. We haven't got anything like that in England.